welcome back to KSR Video. Hopefully you can hear me over the airline. You can hear me over the uh, cars go by here on what, Washington, I think it is. I don't know. We're on Sun Street. Anyway, we're here at the uh, Cesar Chavez Memorial Park. And uh, it's pretty much concrete benches and a little bit of green. But it's also right next to the uh, old Phoenix City Hall. And it's uh, the old support house before they moved everything over there over on Monroe. Anyway, I didn't realize this, but Cesar died back in 1993. I guess that's why it's Memorial Park. But um, he was the first man to ever to organize a successful farm worker union here in, in uh, America, AFL-CIO. And uh, I love his quote here. If you are outraged at conditions, then you can't possibly be free or happy until you devote your time to changing them. And uh, those ones going to see, say, wait it. I mean, the man made a lot of sense, so. This is really cool. They dedicated a whole thing to him. I'm really proud of that. And uh, we're going to go down here. They got the Matsuri Festival going on here in Patriots Park. And we're going to go by America West Arena. And we're going to hop on over to the, uh, I think it's the Mercado, where they got an ASU distance learning facility. We're going to go check that out and find out where the restrooms are around here. Yeah, we've been drinking a lot of soda pop, so. video hope you enjoyed that last video we're down here near Patriots Park near the uh, Matsura festival this is mr. Um, Miyaha. Miyaha. I'm still having problems with, <laughs> with the last name I'm sorry about that but you are um, uh, a master in Kendo Kendo mm -hmm. okay what's the difference between um, uh, Kendo I, I am martial arts illiterate I have no clue mm -hmm. so what's the what, what is it about Kendo what's the difference Say that. Kendo is basically uh, well, in the Western world, or European or U.S., it's Western style fencing. So that's uh, Kendo is a Japanese style of fencing. Okay. And, uh, they use a broadsword, while the Western uses a saber. That's about all the difference. Oh, okay. Well, I learned something new right there. Okay. Now, are you a um, second-generation American or? Yes. I'm a second generation American. I was born in Montebello, California in 1921. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you, and my dad should, you and my dad should hang out. You guys are about the same uh, age and era there. Well, that's why. How did, you, how did you first get into Kendo? My dad used to be a Kendo instructor. Uh, well, he's the one that pulled me into Kendo when I was about 10 years old. Okay. Wow, so are, have you guys already had your demonstration today, or are you going to yes, be doing another one? We have we finished today, and we're going to have another one at 12 o'clock tomorrow. 12 o'clock tomorrow, okay. Well, maybe we can come back down tomorrow and get a few pictures of that. That's well. So what do you think of this Matsuri Festival? Um, I know there's, there's not that large of a Japanese community in Phoenix. Well, it's very nice because uh, well, this is about, I don't know how many times I've been here. I've been, must be here about at least eight times now. And I come down here uh, about three times a year just to give instruction to the Kendoist uh, in Air Phoenix, Arizona. So that's what we're going to do now is to go back and have Kendo lessons to the participants in the Ari Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, so you're a native of LA and you just come out here every once in a while? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, any parting words for anybody out there that's interested in getting into the sport? Um, what kind of discipline should they have or what should they... What should they feel that they might get out of kendo for themselves? Well, kendo is a, one of the martial arts that give you the, probably the most discipline because uh, you can get rambunctious and you get tough and so forth, but then when you get to a good instructor, they'll make, they'll make you very humble. So it's going to be a really disciplinary action. You don't get tough with anybody. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right, well, Bob Diablo, thank you very much for being on our show today. And um, we'll be back a little more Matsuri Festival and some more videos coming at you here in a minute. Hey, this is Andrew Donalds, and this is my new video, Michelle. It's on Metro Blue Capital. Stay tuned.
third video, we're back on Bob Diablo. And I hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Check it out later tonight. We're still going out to Ed Stone with Dink, the interview with them coming up. And we have another CD giveaway coming up in our next hour. We're here down in the middle of Patriot Square with the Mansuri Festival. And it's been quite a ride. We've seen uh, drums, we've seen dancers, we've seen kids singing, we've seen kids hitting and fighting with swords. In fact, let's catch a little bit of that right now. It's the Matsuri Festival, Phoenix, downtown Phoenix. And we'll be right back with some more. <laughs> okay. Um, it's very colorful, very beautiful, noble, very exciting Japanese dancing. So I hope you will stay around for that. And uh, Jerry said he might go put on some makeup himself and come out and join it. <laughs> Helping with the booths and a lot of the, the groups that like are participating one's getting in the moment. So yeah, it's a, it's a hot rock candy, but an, almost like a tuppy. Reminds people of uh, glass blowing. O almost in a way same, but in a way completely different. Yeah, but the idea is same thing, from nothing to nothing. <laughs> We're hanging around down here doing stuff. I've seen some fish, you saw some koi. I still think they're catfish though. I really do think they're catfish. And uh, we're still looking for Manic Mike. I don't know where he is. I think he's at the sake bar and nobody's telling me where the sake bar is because I don't understand Japanese. So I'm kind of stuck in a limbo area. Anyway, KASR video. What can we tell you? Oh, 